Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Reserve definitely surprised me. I wrote it off right away and as soon as I got into it, actually. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Abercrombie Fierce Reserve. Now I know everybody wants me to review every Fierce variant that comes out. I actually did buy almost every Abercrombie fragrance that came out. They would come out with so many fragrances and they would discontinue them within like six months. And even when I'd put them on my fragrance reviews, they would get discontinued so fast that so many people would have no idea how they'd smell. They wouldn't even give them a chance. So I actually sold almost all my random Abercrombie fragrances probably like two years ago. And Fierce Reserve, Reserve is a fragrance that smells like lemon and orange on the top note. It does smell a little bit soapy. To me, I almost smell a little bit of this honey ginger in the background. Honey ginger is kind of how I would describe Colden. You get kind of the smell of ginger, but it's not really so spicy. It almost has this sweet honeyness to it. A little bit of lemon or orange on the top, soapy, with a little bit of this ginger and honey in the dry down. That's what it smells like to me. And depending on the weather, this actually kind of changes. If you spray this in more of the high heat, you get a little bit more of those fresher notes, a little bit of the lemon, the orange, but you spray this in a little bit more of a colder environment and you smell really good, sweet ginger. It actually smells very, very different. The pros is that it is very likable. It's probably its number one strong suit. I do want to say almost every Abercrombie and Fitch scent is more on the likable side. I would say their strong suits, likability, their weakness is probably longevity and projection. But not only is this likable, but to me, this is going after a signature scent style fragrance and to me i usually appreciate more fragrances that go towards that signature scent style it's more well-rounded you can wear it in more situations like this it just seems like they really were trying to make a cologne for everybody a cologne that's really really good and can compete with other fragrances out there it does feel 100 percent like it's trying to be a signature scent it has pretty good longevity and projection for a and f style fragrances i might put this in the con too because almost all abercrombie fragrances have pretty bad projection but Abercrombie and Fitch have two style of fragrances they have right on the point average and then they have slightly below average I do feel like this is slightly on the stronger side if you're indoors something like a classroom which is what this was probably created for very good indoor projection but if you start competing with fragrances you start going to a club style setting you get a lot of food in the air you are gonna smell this one a lot less the cons is that it is a little bit simple even after I've smelled it and I do think Think it is complex when i would compare this to something like colden or if i were to compare this to ezra fitch or if i were to compare this to woods or if i were to compare this to the original abercrombie and fitch fierce those fragrances were so much more in their own direction this one uses a lot of things that i've smelled before does something different i will say that but i do want to say it is a little bit on the simple side you're probably going to smell that right away however check it out because it does unfold quite nicely the price it is $55 for 1.7 ounce. Now, it's kind of weird with Abercrombie and Fitch because First Instinct got hyped and every single variant of First Instinct was on sale for super cheap for so long. You could get the big bottles of Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct at least back in the day for 20 or 25 dollars i mean they were absolutely dirt cheap then you have most of abercrombie and fitch's fragrances that didn't get that hype and anytime that they don't have the hype they are full price which is so weird because if this fragrance was about 30 dollars for this bottle at a discounted size or maybe 50 dollars for the full bottle i would be much 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 more highly likely to recommend it but at $55 for a one ounce. This is me testing this fragrance for maybe a week or week and a half. I've almost killed half the bottle right there. For $55, I would like a better value. Although I know Abercrombie & Fitch isn't gonna lower their fragrance price, but it would be nice if third party people could get it and it would be more competitive because if it was cheaper, I could recommend it to more people. But that's pretty much the only con of this fragrance. If I were to give this a smell rating, I'm gonna give it a solid eight, which if you've been watching my channel, a seven is acceptable. 7.5 i start to like it eight i actually really do like it it doesn't do anything groundbreaking but i've wore this fragrance quite a lot as you can see for likability i'm going to give it 8.5 to a nine i don't really know anybody who's going to dislike this fragrance it smells very good it's not an overkill on the projection so it's not going to be annoying it just is very very likable i would almost even go towards nine because i just think everyone's going to like it longevity and projection i would probably give this between a seven to a 7.5 i can't really 
really tell if I would give it a full 7.5 or a full 7. I even saw somebody wrote online that this fragrance was too strong. Spray this 10 times, you get in a car with somebody, it's gonna be too much. If you overspray it, maybe in a classroom it might be too much, but generally, it's just right down the middle. It's acceptable. And I've rated a lot of other fragrances down to a five or a six if their projection is just really bad, but this one actually was doable. It is good for a date. It's not bad. It's not the best thing, but I would say it's good for a date. And it's hard to say a fragrance is the best for the gym, but it is very, very good for the gym with how likable it is, how easy to wear it is. And it has just a decent projection. I really think it's good. It is not a powerhouse fragrance by any means. It's not one of those winter powerhouse that's just gonna annihilate everything everything that comes in contact with. And same with the summer, it's not a summer annihilation like Invictus Aqua 2016 or this overkill, I'm gonna be the king of fragrances. It isn't that, however, it is really good in almost every single kind of weather. I would say extreme heat, an extreme cold no generally when this would crank up you'd get more of the fresh notes and when this fragrance actually got cooler at night it would be like almost a completely different fragrance like sweet enjoyable it's honey ginger is kind of what i got and this is a really good signature scent style fragrance for a younger guy it's good in almost any weather abercrombie and fitch fierce preserve definitely surprised me a little bit i i wrote it off right away and as soon as i got into it I actually really do enjoy enjoy it. I would hope that Abercrombie would hold on to this one for a little bit because I would probably like this more than the version of Fierce Confidence that I've smelled. I like this more than Fierce Ultimate. I like this more than a lot of the lower end stuff. Not gonna touch the top tier Fierce or the classic ones, but of the newer style fragrances, I actually do like this one, one of the best. Maybe even as much as Fierce Icon as well. I it's been a while since I've smelled that, but I think this is a pretty good fragrance. And if you could get this one on a deal, I definitely recommend it. And if you're a fan of those old style Abercrombie fragrances, or you have somebody who wants a signature scent that goes to class and goes in classrooms, I would say this is very good. For the road to 50,000 subscribers. I couldn't do that. Any of you guys help. You guys are the best. Let me know what you think of the Fierce line. Let me know which fragrance I should review next. I bet you're going to say Fierce Night. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. But then you have most of Abercrombie and Fitch's fragrance.